This video looks at polar form in three dimensional space. Now each vector V represented by OP and you can see that on my diagram here, there's the vector OP, um, can be written in polar form as V equals R, theta and phi. Now the angle theta is measured from the positive x direction to the projection of V onto the xy plane. Now just a quick review of projection, projections, we'll be doing these um, in more detail later. So if I have two vectors A and B, A projected onto B is the shadow of A on B, where that's a right angle. Okay, so this here is the projection of A on B. So as you can see, this vector P creates a shadow on the XY plane here. And your theta is the angle that that projection makes with the x-axis. Now the range is a negative 180 degrees is less than theta which is less than 180 degrees where positive angles are formed by moving towards the positive direction. So always remember to are your angles positive for quadrants one and two or go to three and four with negative angles. So they have to be between negative 180 and 180. Um, the angle phi is measured from the projection of V on the XY plane to the vector V. So you can see phi here. So again, that projection of V on the XY plane and phi is measured up to V. Uh, think about it as the altitude angle. or height. Now the range is negative 90 degrees which is less than theta which is less than equal to 90 degrees so that's for phi so you have to go between 90, negative 90 and 90 where positive angles are formed by moving towards the positive z direction. So positive angles up, negative angles down. So let's start by looking at the magnitude of our vector v. Now to find the magnitude of that vector, we have to start at our bottom triangle here. So this is my x, this is my y. I'm just gonna let this equal h. That projection of vector v on the xy plane is h. So Using Pythag, c squared equals a squared plus b squared. So h squared is going to equal x squared plus y squared. Now come up to my top triangle because we want to find out what our v is, our magnitude of v. This is my z here. So I can write v squared equals h squared plus z squared. Now I'm going to replace my h squared with the x squared plus y squared. So I have v squared equals x squared plus y squared plus z squared. Or v is the square root of x squared plus y squared plus z squared. Now we only look at the positive because we're looking for the magnitude. Now let's look at our angles. Again, we'll start with this top triangle and I'm going to draw it again here. So this is my R, there's my phi, this is my H and that's my Z. Labeling our triangle, opposite, hypotenuse, adjacent. So from that I can write sine of phi is opposite over hypotenuse. So sine of phi equals z over r. Rearranging that, my z is going to be r sine of phi. 
Similarly, same triangle. If we looked at cos of phi, it's going to be adjacent over hypotenuse. So cos of phi is going to be h over r. So I can now write h is equal to r cos of phi. So now let's move into the bottom triangle. We have our y, we have our x, our theta, and a h, which we just found was r cos of phi. Labeling our triangle, opposite, hypotenuse, adjacent. Now sine theta is opposite over hypotenuse. Sine theta is y over r cos of phi. So that means our y equals r sine of theta cos of phi. Looking at cos, cos theta is adjacent over hypotenuse. Cos theta is x over r cos of phi. So my x is given by r cos theta cos of phi. Also, don't forget, which we've done previously, tan theta equals opposite over adjacent, which is our y over x. So, important things we've found magnitude, what our z is in terms of phi, what our y is in terms of theta and phi, and what our x is in terms of theta and phi. Now this is summarized here. Um, the triangles are there, so you can learn the formulas or you can derive them each time. It's up to you. Now when converting to polar form, you need to take care to choose the angle theta in the co correct quadrant of the xy plane. So think about where you are in terms of quadrants. Um, on your formula sheet, your magnitude formula is there.